can you take away from that moving forward as a team? You did lose, but I think there's just so many positives. Is that kind of how you approach it? There are a lot of positives. Uh, just going out there, knowing that we can compete with the best team in the country. Uh, we played a really full game, but there are still things that we can get better on. Um, so just, there is some confidence to that, and uh, we want to carry on how we played against Clemson, like we do against Georgia Tech and the rest of our teams throughout the season. What do you think y'all did well as offensive line? It seems like y'all could really move the ball on the ground, which was kind of a difference from when you were out and, and made the way for as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we, re we really didn't make that many uh, mental errors. There weren't many little mistakes that just caused breakdowns throughout the team. I thought the O-line did a good job kind of knowing our jobs, going out and executing it. And I think a lot of guys played really physical and gave it their all. You I thought like football what? players don't like to hear the term more victory, but what if, you know, your fellow students or fans or have been telling you after that, after that game that, uh, after the Clemson game the other day that you've been hearing? Well, it was a great game and it was exciting to watch. Uh, a lot of people, I uh, had a great time watching it, and they saw us out there competing and fighting every play with the best team in the country. Uh, so they know what we're capable of, and we need to go play like that the rest of the season. Uh, we wish we could have gotten the win, um, but now we want to focus on winning the rest of the season. You talked about making sure that same Carolina team that played against Clemson comes out every week. What's it going to take for that to happen? Just being locked in completely, uh, having respect in your opponent, knowing what you need to do that week to prepare, and prepare every week like you're playing the number one team in the country. Coach Longo said something along the lines of that the rest of the offensive line was more calm. They look up to you. What do you try to bring to that offensive line? Well, I'm an experienced lineman. I've been in situations that they haven't before. Um, you know, there's not many starts along the O-line um, for some of those young guys. And just kind of having an older guy in the group can be kind of common for them, and they all did a great job, and they, they, they gave the all every single snap. He also said that the group kind of has taken a big step forward here recently, and that maybe it's time to maybe unleash a little bit more. What element of the offensive line has made the most progress in, in the last couple of weeks, and it gotten you guys to where he thinks you guys, as a group, can take the next step? It's about knowing your job, because once you know your job, you're able to play physical and fast, and I think... Early on, some people were a little hesitant on knowing their assignments. They weren't really able to fire off the ball. Uh, but lately, we've done a good job knowing what we have to do, playing physical and playing fast. So over your time here, uh, team's been one of the worst in the nation at penalties and now one of the best, I think up to 13th. What, what's the process to get there? I'm sorry, could you repeat that question? You guys have historically been pretty bad as far as penalty yardage in the mm -hmm. past few years and now you're up to 13th nationally this season. What's been the step to get there? So that was a huge focus in the off season. Uh, we knew that was one of our problems the past two years, uh, hurting ourselves. Uh, you never want to have a good play and get it taken back. Uh, so throughout the off season, we were focused on just the smallest details. Um, and it shows how disciplined this team is right now. Mac was saying in particular, it's like little stuff off the field that adds up. I mean, what have you noticed around the, in the building that or, or kind of the newer details that you guys are paying attention to? The locker room is the cleanest it's ever been. Um, that's one thing that stands out. You know, you used to be able to come into the locker room, you still see tape from the practice before laying on the ground, but every day now it looks brand new. And that's just the small attention to detail. It's a, it's a team effort, everything's good. With being that close on Saturday against the number one team, how much talk has there been about um, going out and winning the Coastal and seeing them again in December potentially? Mm -hmm. So we have all our goals in front of us. Our first goal right now is winning, uh, winning the Coastal, and it, it's there in front of us. So we need to go finish the rest of the season strong uh, and play every game to the best of our ability. You talked about how it's important just you know, for each guy to know what their job is. Is it just as important just knowing that that guy next to you does know what their job is, I guess, in the sense it gives that confidence to the guy next to you? Absolutely, especially on the offensive line. You, uh, it's, a, it's a position where the person next to you affects what you're going to do. Uh, so you have to have trust that they're going to get their job done. And uh, I think we're building that trust. What's, what is the healing process for him? Is it just heal on its own all the time? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to do anything for it, really. It'll just heal on its own. You drinking extra milk? Extra milk, a little more calcium. <laughs> yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing?
<laughs> Some people, it's not a good thing. No, I like that. <laughs> Chugging all milk. Yeah. <laughs> you guys good? Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.